Week number eight in my Mo Norman single plane golf swing DIY build it yourself review. Let's get started. This is an on course vlog, my second in this review. Hey everybody, welcome back to Golf Test Dummy, the channel where I use my game to help your game. And today I'm back at the same course that I filmed my first vlog on. Let me get warmed up here take a few practice swings, and we're off. Now, I didn't film every single shot, but at the end of this video, you will see my scorecard with each and every hole, and you'll also see a group of stats at the end of this that I pulled off of the Golf Pad app. So stick around till the end for that, and I think it runs for about maybe 15 to 20 seconds, so if you need a little bit more time to look at it and study it, feel free to pause at the end of the video and check that out. So you guys, before we get rolling today, in one of the videos that Mo put out. This has a lot of texture. It's like a perma bruise and you can feel it and there's actually it's almost the uh, the blood at the surface. Uh, Mo talked about in one of his videos he was asked to show his calluses and he said the left hand takes the hit. When when you're doing the swing you can you can almost see where the line of the club, that's the grip traveling up the hand, it shows where the club is actually sitting in my left hand and it shows just how much friction and how much energy is, uh, is generated into that part of the hand. It's, it's, it's hanging on. So uh, I, I just thought that was interesting that my calluses ended up in the same place that he showed it. Now I'll be quite honest, that bruise on my hand can get tender and from time to time you almost feel like you need to take a break before your hands end up bloodied like they did for Mo Norman himself in the Masters after Sam Snead gave him a tip and he stayed out on the range for 24 days straight hitting golf balls. But anyway, back to the swing. The short game, I feel like, has improved. Uh, my putting needs a little bit of work. Honestly, I haven't been working on that much uh, putting in my game, and it's sort of become, uh, I don't know, I guess a little bit of a, uh, a weak part to my game even though I've got a lot of weak parts let's be honest but the short game is really good one thing about this day that I noticed on course was that the irons the the strikes with those I was a little bit more erratic than I wanted to be and if you guys have watched me kind of progress through this you know that I was really bad to get way across the top uh, in my backswing at the top of my backswing I get way across the line I feel like I've made strides with that I've made improvements with that but I have not quite remedied that, and it's not been eradicated. But it is much better, you can see in these videos. The driver, however, was pretty much money all day long. Now, I'm not going to tell you what I shot. You'll just have to wait till the end for that, but you'll get to see my scorecard, as I said. But I hit some really great shots on this day. I mean, the, the, the straightness of the shots, uh, it, it's just it's uncanny. And really, the way I'm starting to measure uh, improvement in golf it's not so much about driving your best scores to be better, even though that is a, a part of it. That's a component of it. But really, it's about bringing the bottom up. So if if you want to really improve and you really want to lower your handicap, I, I've learned, this is just my experience, that your best is always going to be really good. Your, your average, however, and your worst can be greatly improved. And I got to tell you, even on a day like this, when I felt like my irons weren't quite there, they weren't quite dialed in, I still was able to get the irons in play and put them in the general area that I want them to go. And, and I never really had anything awful happen. Uh, there was nothing that really blew up, nothing that, that went OB or just got cold topped or had a dead duck hook off into the trees or that I shanked off to the right. Everything was very manageable. It was all in play. And I think that that is a sign of real improvement, if you ask me is when you can eliminate those those blow-up holes, those really bad shots, and you can bring the bottom up toward the average, toward the top a little bit more. So if you also take your improvement and you say, well, you know, uh, I don't feel like I've improved, a lot of times it can be like uh, weight loss or some sort of uh, rehab, like physical rehab, recovery. You're going to have your good days and you're going to have your bad days. That's always going to be universal no matter what you're doing. But as long as you are trending up or you have a net gain or a net improvement, uh, it, it may plateau at times, it may go up, it may go down, 
but as long as overall it is all trending up, if you were to look at it on a graph over a longer period of time, you would see a trend of improvement. And I really feel like that is happening with my golf pad stats, with, with how I'm performing on course. Everything is just coming up. It's getting much easier. Golf is becoming an easier game for me right now. All right, that certainly wasn't my best shot today. But I think there might be a subconscious sort of misunderstanding about what trying to copy Mo Norman is going to do for you. I think Mo was a very special, special golfer. And anybody who ever watched him play or watched him hit golf balls can tell you he was an absolute machine. And to think that all of us are going to be able to get to that level, I think, is is just a little nuts. Uh, but if you if you keep your, your expectations realistic and you keep them grounded in reality, just applying the principle that is a swing, you, you can you can achieve things, I think, with your scores and, and your stats that you never really thought possible. And you know, with conventional golf, there is so much out there. There's so many different interpretations of it. And of course with the single plane swing, there's a few different interpretations with it as well. But this simplifies the game. If you can strip away all of this I, I think, again, I use the term overcomplicated stuff that is just applied to golf all around, and you just get to basics. What do you want to do? What's the easiest way to do it? That is the single plane golf swing to me. Now for the scorecard and stats. You'll see I shot 39, 36, 75. I had one birdie and four bogeys. No doubles, no triples, no nothing. Easy to manage. The next three pages you're going to see are going to show you some of my stats. Feel free to pause this if you need to. It runs for a few seconds, but I hit 11 fairways and 8 greens. I think I played really well. This is much better than my average. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to click subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell for all notifications. Hit the like button down below and leave me some comments. I will see you in the next video.